So I have no idea if this is going to work, but I'm out walking the dogs and I thought, you know what? I think I'll try a video log out here. So there we go. Here's my me, just a tiggy. There's little jangies. There's the two of them. Right, come on, boys. Um, okay, this is the problem with the video. He freaks out if he gets uh, caught up on the leash. Anyway, okay, sorry about that. All right. So what I was thinking was about guilt. Okay, this play I'm writing, uh, one of the main themes is guilt. Um, and the reason I wrote about guilt is because I have a lot of guilt. I deal with guilt all the time. I think I have a guilty conscience. And um, I don't know if everyone does. I don't know if it's just a British thing. <laughs> I'm married to a Jewish woman, so I don't know if it's just a Jewish thing <laughs> as well. But uh, I have a lot of guilt about decisions and things I've done in my past. Um, things like I've, I've been married twice. I have a lot of guilt about my first marriage. Wasn't a good husband. It wasn't terrible. I didn't do any awful things, but I was neglectful. I wasn't very present. Just wasn't in myself. You know, it wasn't a great marriage. It never going to work out. But I just wasn't. She got the worst of me. You know what I mean? She didn't get the best of me. Um, and I brought her over to America. You know, and uh, then left her. So I have a lot of guilt about that. About the way I treated her. I have a lot of guilt about who I was when I was a teenager. I was a shitty teenager. Uh, I basically stopped going to school when I was 14 and a half, 15. Um, just stopped going. Put my mum under tremendous stress. I was just a nightmare overall. And so anyway, the point is I have a lot of guilt, right? So um, part of my mantra is to try and get better, be a better person, try to improve myself. God, that sounds really pompous and arrogant. But if, if I don't have that, then what will happen is I can kind of descend into just lethargy and depression and madness and sadness and all that shit, right? So if I try and get better at something. But the thing I don't seem to be able to get better at is feeling guilty. <laughs> so I just still beat myself up about that shit all the time. You know, and I think there are times when I can step away from it and I think, well, maybe I'm just being self-indulgent here. Wait, not you, the dogs. Cross. Good boys. Oh, I love it when they take an order. I love giving orders. Um, I mean, maybe it does sound self-indulgent. But I just don't seem to be able to get over the guilt. Because when I look at some of the stuff, it's like, what? You don't really feel guilty about that. You're just pining, you're just crying out for attention. But I don't think that's me. I don't know, maybe it is. It feels really weird walking along the street, people driving by while I'm talking to this. I'll just pretend I'm talking to a really close friend, okay? <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll call you later. Thank God, it's all right. Um... So if anyone has any ideas about how to get over guilt, what well, one does with it, it seems so useless. It doesn't seem to help in any way. It doesn't seem to be anything you can do with it. Guilt and shame. What it does is hold you back. And yet it feels valid. It feels like a virtue at times, right? It's like, no, you should feel guilty. The way you were as a first husband was shitty, but... At this point, there's nothing I can do, and, and she's fine. She doesn't need my pity. She can go off and live her own life. She can do whatever she wants to do. Um, almost how dare I, you know, that I think I was this important to her life that 20-something years later, I feel like, oh, God, what did I do to her? She's like, fuck you, dude. Move on. I don't need you. And yet still feel it. Anyway, I don't know where this was leading. But apart from that, I tried to deal with it in my play. And what's interesting is, at the end of the play, he doesn't figure it out. A new him is born in the play. A new him that never had the guilt to begin with. 
That's how he gets through it. Not by figuring out how to deal with the guilt, but because there's a part of him that just never had it. And that part wins. So maybe that's the solution. It's not trying to figure out the guilt. It's just bury it and forget it. That's my note for the day. Bury that shit. Forget it. All right, you little nuggets. Have a good one. I'm walking. Bye.